so much for the wonderful raid. What were you working on? I saw something. I saw something about Spelunky 2. That's a hard game from what I understand. Spelunky 2 and then unpacking. Gotcha. Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah, I've heard that's a hard game. <laughs> it's it's kind of new. It came out like last year or something. Grunt, yes. Got a new haircut, I think, a uh, couple of uh, last weekend or something. Yeah, Grunt, you were doing a no internet challenge for five days. That's that's ballistically hard. How did you survive? I know I wouldn't be able to. <laughs> it's a chill puzzle type game. I got you. I got you. I like puzzle games, but I'm too dumb to do them on stream. <laughs> Leave that to smart people like you, Pizza, not me. Gaijin, what's going on? You think I'll beat it this time? Nah, I don't know about that, but we'll find out. We shall find out. Let's get started. I'm so late today, my goodness. Hey, Candle, what's going on? Welcome in. And Goten, thank you for the gift sub to our pal Grunt. I appreciate it very much. Oh my goodness, that is too kind as always, dude. And now what are we going to do? We're going to farm the torch. Goten, I really appreciate it, man. That is far too kind. Grunt, great to have you back in the land of the living on the internet. It practically feels like uh, <laughs> practically feels like you're dead these days if you don't have internet. I lost it for five days, too, back in 2005. Uh, there was a hurricane that passed right over the top of my house. It was Hurricane Katrina, for those that uh, remember that in the U.S. It was, it was quite the storm. Yeah, I lost power for a week in the middle of, um, it was either July or August. That was one of the worst weeks ever. It was so hot. Holy freaking God. No internet. Yeah, Grunt just didn't complete a no internet challenge. That's awesome. <laughs> Beard man, what's going on? How are you doing today, man? Hope you're having a nice day. No, that's right. No self-promo. That's right. We can't do that. Oh, God. Just give me the torch. I don't... Oh, we'll have to do a sword-only run, too. Look at this weapon, guys. You want to do a run with this thing? <laughs> this is a melee weapon. Hey, where's the thing I need? We still don't have the torch. Well, we have to farm for it. That's fine. Maverick, what's going on, dude? Welcome in. Let's get Ryan Pyro a shout out as well because my bot hates him for some reason. I don't know why it is just is that way. Hold up. Sorry, Ryan, my bot hates you and you do stream, so let's fix that. Cyber Shinobi, what's going on? Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. That's that new Mario soccer game, isn't it? Mario Strikers. I might like that, even though it's new. I might like that. Yeah, we're not doing a sword-only run today. We will in the future. I did that on the Genesis version, but this version's a lot harder. So I think we'll have to do that in the future. So not a cheat to give you the torch and save time? Yeah, I guess we could do that, but I was trying to keep it a little more authentic of having to farm for it. You see, we just got it. All right. It's not that bad to farm for it. It's not that bad. It's not too shabby. Yeah, I do shout-outs for people when I know they're a streamer and I've visited their stream and stuff. That's, that's, that's usually what we do here. My bot is supposed to see people that stream anyway, but it doesn't always do that. Uh-oh, we're going to run out of time. That's fine. We're going to die here, and that's fine. Cyber Shinobi, how you doing today, man? Hope it's going well. Austin, welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. Also, dude, all right, we're ready to roll. Austin, what's up, man? Definitely taking on G and G Fable. Good. These, these are great games. They are difficult, and it takes time to get used to them. I would not recommend like uh, starting with like a hard difficulty or anything. Play it on like normal or whatever, easy. Just just to get used to the style of the game. Just to get used to it. Yeah, Beard Man, I gotta, I'll gotta. i have to check your stream out first. I like to do that before uh, doing shout-outs and stuff. Just to, just a thing to check things out before I get going with it. J oh, my God. My God. J-Dog. 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 Congratulations on defeating Holy Diver. That is an outstanding retro accomplishment. 
and I am very proud of you and knew you could do it. <laughs> Even though you were doubting it yourself sometimes, and yeah, self-doubt comes with those kind of games, but dude, congratulations. That is amazing stuff. Now you gotta work on Battletoads or Wally Bear or something like that, right? That's the next challenge. There's always another challenge to work on. This is going terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Too much torque. What's going on, man? Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day also, dude. Uh, which one would I recommend first? Uh, Fabled, I would recommend the Genesis version of Ghouls and Ghosts, which is basically this game, but it's easier than this particular version. It's definitely easier. This is the hardest version of the standard Ghouls and Ghosts, so I would start with the Genesis version of this and go from there. This is going terrible. I don't... Level 1 of this game is unusually difficult here. Like, level 3 and 4, we just cruised through that the other day. Yesterday. But uh, th th this... Uh, th this may take some attempts here. Th this weapon is just terrible on this level. Alright, we're getting better. Dragon Super, welcome. How you doing today? I knew Torch only would be harder than Captain Planet. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, Farley. Absolutely not. Farley, what's up, buddy? I hope you're having a great Saturday. That goes for everybody. It is Saturday, after all. This is a nice day. It's a nice day, Dragon. Hope you're having a good day, man. Mixer got my catalyst converter replaced on my car. That was a chunk of change. Uh, catalytic converter replace it. Oh, is that the thing that controls like the speedometer and stuff? I have no idea what anything about cars. I know they have wheels and they take you from A to B. I'm like the dumb shit. Good freaking god. All right, <laughs> all right, back to it. Back to it. This is gonna be a long grind. And if we beat it, we're playing Darkwing Duck. I know that's what a lot of people are. No, god damn it. I hate this level. It's level one and I already am getting salty about it. Genesis version. Genesis version's great. I've played it a bunch already. But this version's harder. You don't get a checkpoint at the boss in this version. You actually have to earn the boss fight wins in this one. Genesis ones are kind of freebies. Great. And this pig guy is going to get me. Okay, no, he's not. No, he's not. Coffee, you weren't here when the, when the stream ended yesterday. I accidentally botched the continue thing, and it didn't continue, and I lost all our progress. That was dumb. That's not going to happen today, though. I just put it on. It, it's an arcade game. You can turn on infinite lives and stuff, even in the real arcade version. Because I've, I've seen, like, the control panel for the old arcade games. It's totally doable. I, I don't like the Cyclops guy. He was trolling me. No! Oh, there's Big Mac. Hello, I was wondering if this is live or a repeat. I've told you a million times it's a repeat. It was recorded five years ago. It's not my fault if you can't figure that out. I should just ban that guy. I should just ban that guy. I should just ban him. But if I ban him, then people will be like, no, we like seeing Big Mac troll Mixer with the, whether it's a live stream or not. So I guess we'll, we won't do that. Who thinks we should ban Big Mac for saying that every day? It's obviously a bot. And it gets on my nerves like crazy. But let me guess, we shouldn't do that. See, th there we go. There we go. See, people like Big Mac. It's our pal Big Mac. It's Sean says it's just not live. Yeah, I guess we... <laughs> no, Sean, it was recorded five years ago. You know that. Might as well have been recorded five years ago as well as this is going. I'm getting my ass whooped. What if it's not a bot? It does it in other channels too, Steamy. Did it to Jax last night. <laughs> it was like late at night. I couldn't go to sleep. I was watching Jax play Solar Jet Man. And uh, <laughs> Big Mac was in there too at like 2 in the morning or something. <laughs> See, Jax, it happens here too. I, that, that, I swear to God, that's not a real person. That's got to be a bot. What could be accomplished by saying that every day? <laughs> no, it's not live. It's, this is YouTube. This isn't Twitch. We don't do live stuff here. <laughs> All right, let's beat level one. That'd be great. I, I really want to beat level one. 
It's recording from the future. It's everything, yes. Whatever you say it is, that's the truth. Clearly it's for amusement. Well, they're gonna get amusement out of me because I, I can't I can't just stay quiet about that kind of stuff. I have to respond. No! Okay, there we go. Uh, what founders did I remove, Pug? Uh, it was mostly just a bunch of uh, Team Fortress 2 people that either are not active anymore or I don't even remember who the hell they are. This is, that was from like almost two years ago. Yeah, I remember... Damn this fight. The hell is this? The hell is this? What is going on here? Nothing good. This is gonna be a long stream today. I, I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling a lot of pain happening here. We're still on level one. We have to do two loops in this game. Good freaking God. No! No! We gotta get... I, I gotta get good. <laughs> the sole problem is getting good. Sean, how are you doing today, man? Taking a day off from streaming? Gonna get that damageless <laughs> Castlevania 3 run? That is absurd what a difficult challenge that is, but I love it. I... Why, why is that happening now? Hello, I was wondering if Mixer is live or a bot. I'm obviously a bot, literally. Don't you know that? Don't you know that? <laughs> I, can't, I can't ban that Big Mac guy now. Everybody's gonna expect him to come in every day and troll me. This sucks. This freaking sucks. Wonder if what became a YouTube streaming later. YouTube gaming cert that certainly tried. There is streaming service on YouTube, isn't there? I've never like looked at it or anything. There's also face. You can also stream games on Facebook. You guys ever tried that? Maybe we can stream a rousing game of Candy Crush. I guess that's what people on Facebook are streaming, right? Surely not going to be ghosts and goblins. Or maybe we could stream a, a game. What, what are other... Jesus. What are other mobile games that people might stream from Facebook? The only thing I can think of is Candy Crush. I played that before, by the way. It's not the worst game ever. I was challenged to play it by people I know on Facebook. They were like, you should play some Candy Crush. And I was like, well, I'll just dominate everybody. And then I tried it and I was bad. <laughs> so that was the end of that. Was Mixer just Wally Bear in a human costume? Maybe. Maybe. You never know, Ryan. You never know. That might be the truth. Shredder's Revenge. Can't wait to see that. Can't wait. You can even play as April. You can play as April O'Neil in that game. That's what everybody's going to do. It's going to be a mic drop moment. Yeah, I know. That joke has been overused. Ah, uh, Raid Shadow Legends. Is, what is that, a Facebook game? <laughs> what, what the hell is that if it's a new game? I surely don't know what it is. Medieval, welcome in, man. I hope you're having a nice day. You can stream on Steam, too. I've seen people stream on Steam. It's usually like game developers that want you to like see their new game live or something. It's usually how it works. I could be wrong. I, I don't... I'm not too familiar with like any streaming except for Twitch. Okay, we're going to beat this guy this time. Right? We're going to beat this guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! That didn't do any damage? What the hell was that? Alright, hold up. Hold up. We got this. We- No! God damn it, I hate this level. A mobile game that gets streamed a bit. Kind of a meme for paying streamers to play it. Oh, it's one of those paid promotion things. Okay. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I, I, that's one of the... Somebody was actually asking me off stream, Hey, Mixer, if you get partner, are you going to do promotional streams? And I'm like, I don't think I'm going to do that. I like playing games I want to play. I don't... We're not playing games for money. <laughs> but that is a thing, apparently. I don't know if it's a good game or something that looks retro-ish. Maybe I would do it, but no, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I could, we could do a stream from the future or something to please that Big Mac dude. Ooh, that was a good dodge. That was a good job. Raid Shadow Legends can't escape the ads. Okay, so I don't know anything about that. Apparently, it's not a good thing. <laughs> it's not good. Raid Shadow Legends, a free-to-play 3D fantasy turn-based RPG for iOS and Android platforms. The game revolves around heavy around gotcha collection. Oh, so it's a pay-to-win game? 
Well, that's good. <laughs> we need more pay to win. You're blessed you haven't seen a single ad of that. I bet I have, and I just didn't pay attention to it. Because, like, when ads come on, I, like, in my mind is, like, subconsciously tunes out when it's an ad. I mean, because usually it's the Geico Gecko, and I don't want to see that anyway. Jesus. Jesus! How am I not able to win this fight? We beat this guy yesterday. This stream's gonna last till 8 o'clock tonight. And this isn't even the hardest le- WHY?! Oh my god, I'm so salty right now. I should just die again. I should just die again. This is going terrible. Let me catch up with you guys. I have a very high marketing budget compared to other mobile games. And people wonder why I don't play mobile games. I know I've seen several mobile games stream, but Facebook games, really? I've seen people uh, talk about streaming, uh... <laughs> streaming Candy Crush and stuff like that. Not that I understand why anyone would watch it, but yeah, people have talked about streaming it before. Kind of ridiculous. All right, I guess we're going to make it to the boss again. I don't know. This is just going just horrifyingly bad today. We lost all our progress from yesterday because I couldn't continue. Or I tried to continue and botched it up somehow. I still don't know what happened. I even watched the video of this yesterday. I don't know what happened. I just screwed up. Yeah, this is going to be a long day, Farley. It's going to be a long, painful day. We might not even have time for Darkwing Duck today. Probably for the best. Nobody wants to see Darkwing Duck anyway on Turbo Graphics, do they? Dude, dude, what the hell am I supposed to do with this fight? I guess we ought to, since I can't handle this, I guess we just start streaming Candy Crush or something. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Might as well. It'd go better than this. Oh, this is a good situation. This is good. This is great! Just die. I can't take a hit that early. It, yeah, if you're wondering about Darkwing Duck on Turbo Graphics, go watch the Angry Video Game Nerd episode on it. That's all I know about the game. Is it looks really stupid, really annoying. And my girlfriend wanted to see it. Because I showed it to her not all that long ago. And she was like, this looks so much fun, you need to play it. So I was like, okay, I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that went. We're getting a free garbage redemption, but that's only if we can beat this game within a reasonable time frame. And that's looking very unlikely right now. Somehow I'm doing even worse today than I did yesterday. And I even know what to do here today, and it's still not helping. It's because this shitty weapon. That's the problem. Make it a 1cc run. You won't have to worry about continuing. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine doing this one credit clear? We're going to try and do that in the, the regular Genesis game. We've done one credit clear Ghosts and Goblins on NES and Super Nintendo, but we still got to do the Genesis one. And no, we're not doing the arcade one, <laughs> which is this one. This will just have to be a billion deaths. All right. No! God... Uh, Raid Shadow Legends, of course. I'm not playing that since it's pay to win. Uh, I'd rather play a garbage game than give any company the, uh, the the honor of playing their pay to win game. Now, Diablo Immortal, I've heard that's a pay to win game too, and that's made by Blizzard, which used to be a good company. You guys remember Blizzard Entertainment? They make Warcraft and Starcraft and all that good stuff. Well, they're not a good company anymore because they've joined the mobile gaming industry of pay to win with their new Diablo Immortal game. And that's an insult to everybody that likes those kind of games. That's an insult. Blizzard is dead to me now. They're, they're just dead. <laughs> no more Blizzard games. Of course, I'll, I'll, the, like Diablo 2 and stuff, I'll keep playing that, but just, just screw that whole pay to win thing. Overwatch 2, no idea how that's going to work. Probably pay to win. <laughs> pay to win mix of what happened yesterday again uh could what happened yesterday again happen today or did you figure out what was wrong i fixed it farley i just set the arcade setting to unlimited lives so we don't actually have to use the continue screen anymore great great awesome wonderful fun i'm gonna die here oh i didn't die hold up okay 
Alright, so this is where I die every time. We got him. Finally! Oh my god, he's dead. Alright, the, the next couple of levels are actually easier than that one. Believe it or not. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. No, not really. Believe it or not, we beat the level. Good start. There's like a billion turtles on this difficulty. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, perfectly imperfect. Try using magic. Uh, can't do it, man. Can't do it. You know why? This is a no magic run as well. So I'm not even going to pick up the gold armor. You paid to win with your cheat Australian force of nature. Now that's different, Pug. That that w that item didn't make me play any better. That was just a skin for an item. So that was not pay to win. I was using the old version of that. Probably has like 500 million kills on it. The the the, the original version of that item I was using. But no, that was definitely not pay to win. Meows, welcome. Hope you're having a nice day. Yeah, the first level in this game, Caleb, is unusually difficult. Maybe it's just this weapon that was making it harder. But we, like, cruised through most of this game yesterday. Besides level one, and besides the last level, which was absolutely working me over. No! Oh my god, we survived. We survived. Okay, we might make the checkpoint. We might make the checkpoint. Okay, I like being killed by stuff off the screen. I love that. That's, like, my favorite part of games. Okay, back to it. No, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Meows, welcome. How are you doing today? Everyone knows Australian Force of Nature has a 100% chance to crit. You think... You would think so, listening to all those idiots in the game, right? You, you would think I was actually cheating in Team Fortress 2, according to, like, 80% of people. But no, there was just a bunch of salty idiots that didn't like being killed. And that's all there was to it in that game. I will never stream that game again. And that is a beautiful thing, isn't it? That is beautiful. Yeah, I know, Pug. It's insane, dude. It's, it's insane. Just so many dumb people. I keep dying you suck at the game. I, I do, meows. I'm, I'm really bad. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. We made it. Okay. All right, see, well, this level's easier. We're getting further, like, every attempt here, and we're gonna, we're gonna get through this. All right, don't hit me off the screen this time. Here we go. Here we go. All right, this guy, it doesn't matter if we kill him or not, because we're at the checkpoint, I believe, anyway. All right, see, get destroyed. You're, you're no match for the torch. You're no match for this awesome, awe-inspiring weapon. Alright, we are at the checkpoint now. This part right here is hard, though. I got stuck here for a while. Kula, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. And Sumo, welcome. Sumo, thank you for the follow, dude. Hope you're having a nice day. Good to see you. Good to have you aboard. That's bad, okay. We can still beat this boss. This isn't the hardest of bosses, but it's also harder than some of the other ones. Alright, th this is going to be the boss fight right here, which is not an easy one, but I think it's easier than that Cyclops guy that was beating me up. Alright, here we go. Alright, we got to back up now, because he's going to charge a little bit. See what I tell you, level one's harder than some of these deeper levels. <laughs> Screw pay to win, dude. Retro gaming backlog. Uh, just put my daughter down for a nap after a meltdown, so enjoying some peace and quiet. I'll try and keep things peaceful and quiet. I do have a tendency to rage, as you can see, when things don't go right. Oh, dang, I need these emotes now. What's up, Sumo? Hope you're having a nice day. All right, so we're doing better. We're doing good. We're probably not going to encounter too much insane resistance until we reach the last level. Okay, that's good. Space invaders are getting me. Okay, you think there's enough of them up there? You think that's enough? This is a bad situation. Yeah, I saw that coming. All right, we're fine. We're fine. This is not that hard of a level.
She had a meltdown as soon as I joined the stream and started talking to people. Nah. That happens. That happens, doesn't it? I don't have kids of my own, but I, a lot of like my friends and family d do. But so yeah, yeah, I understand the problems that kids can cause. I'm 41 years old, and I, I still don't have any kids yet. I don't know if I ever will, honestly. Or maybe I will. I have no idea. It's kind of not up to me. Great. I did. Yeah, we beat this on the first try yesterday. We beat this on the first try. Now I'm having problems with it. It's just, there's a lot of RNG and stuff involved with this. And using a bad weapon, that weapon right there might be even worse. There's also a cheat setting. Look at this. I found another way to make this game even harder. Watch this. I'm not going to turn it on. Always naked. Always naked. That means you have to do the run without armor on. That sounds like a good future challenge. What do you guys think? A no, a no armor run of this arcade version. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll try it someday. I actually did that on the Genesis version and it wasn't that bad, but that version's easier. Jax, I remember when you were streaming this, the Genesis version. It's not an easy game by any means. It's easier than this version though. This is just madness right here. And for those wondering the difficulty, you can choose the difficulty right here in dip switches. I've got it set to hardest. And it goes all the way from easiest all the way to hardest. So yeah, this is what we're dealing with. This is what usually how arcades would set their difficulty. So they could steal quarters and stuff from kids. That's how that works. Hey, Norad, welcome. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a nice day. Same for you retro fan. Good to see you as well, dude. We're continuing this adventure because remember I botched up the continue yesterday. <laughs> so let's, we're seeing if we can uh, rectify the situation here and get things as they should be. And so far, so good. Besides being trolled on level one a lot. All right, this part's not that hard either. This is kind of an easy part. Still probably going to die though. Good, perfect. All right, that's fine. We made the checkpoint. Good to see you, Norad. Need no armor. Continues disabled. Hardest difficulty, sword only. Boy, that'd be a lot of fun, wouldn't it? Somebody should try that. It won't be me, though. <laughs> Doing, like, a deathless run of a game like this, I would not have enough, like, time to practice it, unfortunately. I, I would love to be able to do that, but it, it would just be, like, a lack of time. Right. Great! Perfect! I don't like these tongues at all. They are kind of freaky, aren't they? But this part's not that bad. It's really not. This part's very, very, very similar to the Genesis one. Not that many extra enemies. The speed of the enemies isn't bad. So yeah, th this part's not going to be that much of a problem. This is one part that didn't change too much between the different versions. Oh, that went good. That went good. Perfect grunt. That's what's going on. <laughs> Perfect emote for this situation. Great. That's nice. I thought I made that jump. Hammer only G and G legend run win. Don't don't tempt me, coffee. I might actually try that one day. <laughs> we will do a ghosts and goblins uh, resurrection legend uh turn the speed up setting what's that called the magic metronome yeah coffee so if you want to see ghosts and goblins resurrection played in high speed i think we can try that one i'll just use my old save game from like last year and just pick up where we left off and just do all the levels on like 200 percent speed or something that, that would be kind of madness, but I'm willing to give it a shot. All right, I'll be back later. Have fun. No problem, Retro Gaming. No problem, dude. I will not wear headphones that day. Probably a good idea. Probably a smart decision. High speed sounds fun. It does, Norad. I'm kind of intrigued. <laughs> Zaylin, what's going on, dude? <laughs> Hope you're having a nice day. The music is kind of funny on arcade. It is. It is. Welcome, Zaylin. How are you doing today? Angry old man, welcome. How are you doing today? Hope you have a nice day also. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. 
It's Saturday. Everybody should be having fun. This is a, a fun day. Funny thing is, I thought the TG Darkwing Duck looked better than the NES version. It really does. Uh, the graphics of Darkwing Duck on Turbo Graphics 16 look nice. It's apparently like the control and the trolliness of the game that makes it so bad. I haven't even tried it yet. I always like to do like total blind playthroughs of a trash game knowing nothing about them. So it's going to be fun if we make it to that game today. Actually, it won't be fun at all. It'll be fun for you guys. It won't be fun for me, but that's usually how trash games go. Jax, I think you played Darkwing Duck on Turbo Graphics and you beat it. So maybe we can figure it out. Maybe you can help me. Yeah, weekend's treating us pretty good. No complaints about the weekend so far. I managed a Namco arcade in the 90s. There was no policy on difficulty settings. Kept things on default. That sounds good, perfectly imperfect. I always had this sneaky suspicion that arcades were changing the difficulty. In fact, the lo one of the local arcades I used to go to when I was a kid, the guy that ran it confirmed that, yeah, that was a thing. That was a thing that they did turn the difficulty up. He, had, he straight up admitted it, and I was like, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Even as a nine-year-old, I was like, yeah, I, I see through this scam. You're just trying to get more quarters out of people. All right, th this level with this weapon is honestly not that bad, but we're about to reach a terrible level. See, what I say, if we could beat level one, we would start making a little bit of progress here, and we are. Really? Okay, we're, I think we're already at the checkpoint, though. <laughs> Just rolling right along here. Rolling right along. Darkwing Duck, I love that. I like the cartoon a lot of Darkwing Duck, but and we played the NES version, which was good, but I've heard the TurboGrafx-16 version is absolute garbage. I've seen the Angry Video Game Nerd episode on it, but I've not actually tried it yet. I don't know how we didn't get hit there. That was super weird. Probably not going to win it on this attempt, because this boss is kind of tough, but oh, never mind. We're not even going to get there. Not even gonna freaking get there. But yeah, I'm having a nice weekend, Zaylin, and I hope you are too. So we should be able to beat this level fairly quickly. We did last time. We beat every level quick except for level one and the last one, which for you guys that saw what the last one was like yesterday, we we're probably gonna get stuck there again for a long time. Only scam was the crane games, no choice about that. Oh yeah, the freaking claw. The freaking claws! Oh god, I can't... You know what, I'm gonna get myself killed. It's not worth trying to pick up a weapon. Or jump past a weapon. I'm just gonna die here. There's no reason to do it. Oh crap, yeah, that's right, the ceiling hurts you here. Alright, die again. Alright, just die again. We have to get there with armor. Yeah, the claw machines are extremely rigged. The dip switch is... Uh, for difficulty existed for that reason. Yeah, to steal people's money. I swear, like games like Final Fight and, thing, and beat em ups back in the day. I'm gonna have to die again, dude. This part's working me over. This sucks. Darkwing Duck is not a positive highlight in the list of all US Turbo games. We'll find out, won't we? We'll find out how bad it is if we can get through two loops of this nightmare. I'm, I'm kind of dreading Darkwing Duck, but I, I'm sure you guys will like it. You know how our trash game redemptions usually go here, and we're getting this one for free. You can thank my girlfriend for for this one. We're doing it for free. No points required. Uh, you need to try uh, Wagenland, probably the only game I've played to make me genuinely mad. Grunt, if it made you mad, I can't only imagine how it went. I mean, you know what? In fact, I'm going to take note of that and go ahead and write it down. <laughs> it grunt. If Wings of V didn't make you mad, but this did, that sounds insane. So I'm going to write it down and write a note here. There we go. Now I'll have a look at that off stream. <laughs> Maybe it'll be something we play one day. What? That did not happen last time. I'm calling horse shit on that. 
These things normally miss you like 100% of the time. I don't know why that happened. All right, now we have to fight a tough boss with no armor, and I am not happy about it. Thank you, girlfriend. Selbeck, what's going on, man? Yeah, Darkwing Duck is because of her. She asked for it. She was like, I sure would like to see some Darkwing Duck. And I was like, well, okay, I guess we'll try it, man. <laughs> No more freebies, though. That's the only crash game we're going to play for free. I don't know how to price a game like that anyway for like a point redemption. I have no idea. I screw all my point redemptions up for trash games. They're either too expensive or too cheap. I have no idea. Are we going to beat this boss on the first try with no armor? We are. That's unreal. Okay. <laughs> That's unreal. Well, it just goes to show you that the levels aren't that bad besides this one and level one. I don't know how that happened. Don't ask, Jax. That was insane. <laughs> that was insane. But now we have this level, which is a problem. What if we just beat it on the first try, too? One red armor down. Ah, uh, yeah. It had to happen. <laughs> Two red armors down. Let's go. This guy's already active up there. How did that happen? This dragon's got to go. Okay, there we go. Don't be a weapon. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's bad. Alright, well, I had no shot. It turned me into an old man. I had no shot. Selbeck, how are you doing today? G. Kel, welcome in. Good to see you guys. We're trying to fix a situation that ended terribly yesterday, and it was on this very level. It didn't take long to get here. I, I kind of knew it wouldn't, but we're going to be stuck on this level for a long time. Not in this particular part. It's the checkpoint of this level that's so hard. These guys I'm not that worried about. It makes it sound like... A, it, I swear it sounds like a cat meowing when you lose your armor. Yeah, it goes... Meow. I, that's a, a weird noise. Oh, great. I didn't mean for that to happen. Okay, we're kind of in trouble here. <laughs> I'm giving them a chance to kill me. Those guys are pathetic if they couldn't do any better than that. Is that going to be armor? Of course not. Why would it be armor? Oh, really? After all that? After all that? Okay, great. All right, we got this. This is still easier than level one somehow. That's kind of insane, but it is what it is. All right, these dragons, maybe we need to kill them before I initiate combat with those guys. All right, good start. Oh, really? You got me. Okay, fair enough. These guys are so much easier than on the Super Nintendo and the original version, but they're, they're still difficult. Hope you're uh, doing well today. Chloe, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a nice day. Good to see you. Be right back. Got to talk to girlfriend about another game she definitely wants to see on stream. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. Chloe, how are you doing today? It is nice to see you. This is going worse than it did yesterday, but it doesn't matter, because I don't mind this level. I, I just hate level one and the second part of this level, which we're about to see in a minute. All right, let's make sure we just eliminate these dragons before anything terrible happens here. Okay. All right, one down. We gotta basically get through these guys without taking a hit. No, that's wrong. Okay, we're fine. Aramur's gonna, Aramur's gonna Aramur. I know they're just trolly. They're just pretty trolly. Anybody that's played these games know how bad these guys control. All right, how about coming down to fight me? How are you walking in the air? No ledge over there. You can't just climb through the wall like that. All right, he's dead. That's dead. He's dead. Okay, good. We're doing good. Back outside I go. I'll be listening. No problem, Royal. No problem. Don't take notes, Fable, because it would be much easier if you had to like the, get the knife. Don't use the torch. Do not use the torch. 
Make sure you get the knife and you stick with the knife. It, actually, any weapon would be fairly decent compared to this one, except for the sword. That's a melee weapon. Really don't want that either. Can I really not hit this pig guy from here? Can I really not do that? Okay. This is not a good situation. <laughs> Really? The armor was right there! Ye are, are you serious? Okay, yeah, you're serious. That's fine. This is a super short part, and then the real hell of this game is about to start. Alright, he's dead. This looks hard. Hello, peoples. Welcome, Indiana. How you doing today, man? Yeah, this part is treacherous. Way easier if you actually bring the knife and not this crappy-ass torch, but that's the challenge. Indiana, I hope you're having a nice day, man. Welcome in. All right, there we go. Couple more of these guys. All right, good. Progress. This level's a real challenge, and this challenge run. Correct, Gaijin. Correct. This is where we have to really earn the win. Alright, not picking up any of the chests unless I absolutely need armor, which I don't right now. And you can get the gold armor in this game, but it's only for casting magical spells, which we're not using, because I'm just adding that to the challenge. The spells aren't great, but they're also not terrible. I think we can kill... Yeah, we can kill that guy through the wall. That's kind of like cheating. All right, here we are. Welcome to hell. This is where the real hell of this level starts. Right here, we're at the checkpoint. And this is where the this is where it all came apart yesterday. This is where it's all going to come apart today, too. Fun stuff. Okay, well, I hope everybody likes this part, because we're going to be here for a long time. Just checking, this is a recording? Absolutely, Chloe. This was recorded five years ago. That's absolutely it. Yeah, Big Mac was here earlier, for those wondering, asking if it was a recording. He was here. <laughs> he was here. Captain Jax in the house with a gift sub to Gaijin. Thank you so much. Jax, too kind, man, and great progress last night on Solar Jet, man. Great progress. You're going to get there. It's all going to happen. And Charles, welcome. How you doing, Charles? Hope you're having a nice day, man. Uh, I was having a nice day until we got to this part again, and I hate this part. God, this can die on in a fire, this level. Was it a recording, though? Yes, Zaylin, it was a recording. It was a recording, Allie. Allie, welcome. Allie, great job yesterday on Mega Man 3 and 4. You were doing great work yesterday. I was happy to see it. Hope you're having a nice Saturday. We're, we're at the happy fun spot. That, that would be the spot right here. That's the happy fun spot. I thought I could stun lock that piece of crap. I guess not. It doesn't work that way, does it? <laughs> it does not work that way. Okay, cool. All right, now we can get the armor if I can get up here quickly enough. It ain't happening this time. It ain't happening this time. Maybe next time. Yeah, I love the dancing Mega Man emote. That's a Corman emote, and he's got some good ones. I love seeing everybody's emote. Actually, I don't like seeing other people's emotes. Everyone using emotes that are not mine are banned. <laughs> Remember when we talked about that yesterday? Some dude was actually banning people for not for using other people's emotes. He was banning people in his channel. Oh, you use someone else's emote. Banned. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That is bonkers. That is absolutely bonkers. If I ever do that, come to my house and just kick my ass, okay? Please, I deserve it, and a lot worse. <laughs> I'm begging for it. What kind of RNG pattern is this thing? This is just completely random the way this guy attacks. 
See, I want him to like use a fireball when he's low so I can jump in and do that kind of stuff. There we go. Okay, I lost my armor already. That kind of sucks. Bandees. I will bandees nuts. <laughs> oh, don't push me, Sean. <laughs> you know what I want to ban? I want to ban this freaking level from existence because it's godforsakenly bad. All right, is that going to be armor? No, that's going to be the knife. That would never be the knife if you actually wanted it. That'd be the axe again. I'm dead. <laughs> I saw that coming. It's my favorite Mega Man emote. Corman is a G. Yeah, he is. He is. Good stuff. Someone actually banned people for that? Yeah, Chloe, unfortunately. That's what we were talking about yesterday. Somebody was banning people for using the emotes that weren't their own in the channel. You have to use that streamer's emotes or you get banned. He was calling it self promotion or something. It's, I know, it's unreal. How do you do this without getting hit? I did it a couple of times yesterday. I, I did do it. It is humanly possible. Is it likely? No. But is it possible? Yes. Good. Perfect. Love it. Love it. You get trolled by everything on this level. Just anything and everything. I hate this level. I hate this level. On the Genesis version, this level is not nearly as bad because there's a checkpoint after you get to the boss. Not here, though. We have to do it all on one shot, and it ain't happening. Okay, good start. See, it is doable. I'm, I'm not insane. See, if, if you guys haven't played this game yet, see, you would have a range weapon, and you could just pulverize these enemies at range. But no, I'm using the torch, so we have to get right up in their face and risk life and limb to do anything right. So it's, it's a problem. It's a big problem. Sean, I hope you enjoy your day off from streaming. Streaming takes more energy than, than people realize. It really does. Taking a day off from it every now and then is just outstanding and gets you refreshed and all that good stuff. All right, good start, good start, good start. Let's go. Let's go. Let's no! Okay, there's one more of these guys to kill, and then we're okay. And then I can, I think I can get armor back. No, they're invincible when they go into that mode. Okay. That's a, a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. Great. Dead. Okay, where's the armor now? Where's the armor? I don't think this is going to be it. I think this is going to be a weapon, but I've got to make sure. That's a weapon that we're not picking up. That's actually a decent weapon right there. This should be the armor, yes. The, 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 the chest have a... There's a method to the madness with the treasure chest. And this is going to be really bad. Wolf, welcome in, buddy. How are you doing today? Dude, that was really fun last night seeing the Double Dragon 2 stuff. I was up so late last night. I got to see a lot of late night streaming action that I normally don't get to see. It was fun. But good stuff on Double Dragon 2. You and D will actually beat it in co-op. Holy freaking crap. On the hardest difficulty. How did that hit me? No! I hate... God damn it, I hate this. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Alright, do better. Do better! So salty. Now, I like seeing co-op streams as well. They're a lot of fun. They are good stuff. Great. It's, my strategy doesn't always work here. More co-op streams is definitely what we need to see. That's correct. What do we need to see a co-op stream of? I'm trying to think of something trolly. 
<laughs> What's a good two-player game? Three Stooges. All right, kill me again. We can't take a hit that early. This is absolutely insane, dude. Already did not wear headphones when I started the stream because I knew where this was going. You you know me too well, don't you, Coffee? You knew this was going to be a train wreck. Anybody that saw any bit of this yesterday knew how bad this was going to be. Great! Mixer and I should do a co-op challenge. Yeah, Deathless Double Dragon 2. <laughs> right, Wolf? Deathless Double Dragon 2 on Supreme Master difficulty. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. That would be absurd. All right, good start. That's the start we're looking for. I'm down. It would be something to pull that off, wouldn't it? That would be something. Or a Deathless Contra run with two people? Holy God, I, I can only imagine. Or even Battletoads! Battletoads co-op is like literally impossible. Has anyone been able to do that? I'm sure some crazy people have done it one day on stream. What?! Dude, 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 that missed me! Battle Squadron Amiga? Is that on the, that's, I, I don't think I've heard of that. Is that on the Amiga system? I've never played a game on Amiga before. Great. 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 Now, Deathless Contra, I can definitely do. I've done it before, too, so that might be a good one, Wolf. With two players, it's harder because you have to you have to actively work together on some of the levels. And that could be an issue. It's kind of like, dude, 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 this is insanity. Deathless Contra 3 co-op. Maybe on easy. <laughs> it's definitely not on hard. <laughs> definitely not on hard. That game is absurd on hard difficulty. I love Contra 3, though. That was one of my favorite playthroughs on stream. I'm hoping we can go back and play that again sometime. Okay, good. This is just total RNG here. I have no control over these patterns. And if you dare keep attacking, they're just going to hit you again. All right, there we go. Not on hard. I tried and failed. It is insane on hard. I, could, I, I was just happy to beat it on hard. And that was starting with seven lives and, like, continuing a bunch. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even come close. All right, good. This is good. Oh my god, that was really awesome. Okay, now. How do you spawn out that last chest? Really need to do that. Is that going to be the gold armor? Okay, if I get hit, I'm going to go back down there and get it. That was that was garbage play right there. That was really bad play. I was trying to do a massive amount of damage to that thing. How are you shooting me from off the screen? Yeah, this is two-player vertical shooter. A Amiga version is best. Oh, a vertical shooter. The, a shmup. I hate those games. <laughs> we were talking about that last night, Wolf. About shmups. God. Really? Th dude, this is just so trolly. I gotta try UN Squadron, though. That might be a shmup for me, since you actually have a health bar. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. That was bad! Dude, this requires just so much perfect perfection. Oh, uh, low schmutz, but I struggle with them. I, <laughs> I'm kind of the opposite, Retro Mike. I suck really badly at schmutz, and I hate them all at the same time. Air Zonk would be right up my alley. Yeah, if you want to see me have a complete meltdown on stream. Uh-oh. Did I just mess this up? I just messed this up. Hold on one second. I, I might have just ruined the run. I was having tech issues earlier. Alright. I just totally screwed this up in OBS. Hold up. There we go. Sorry about that. Alright, I'm just going to die here. Alright, we're fine. <laughs> Disaster averted. That could have been a problem. Air Zong. Yeah, Jax. I would have the, like, the biggest meltdown on stream playing that. I watched you play it, and I think that was enough. 
The Turbo Graphic 16 has all kinds of schmups and stuff. Not exactly my style of games. I play them though, just for the sake of like completionist sake. I'm not the same as that. Great, you're just awesome. Just awesome, awesome. <laughs> Dude, you gotta ask Ellie about UN Squadron next time you see her. Did she play that? Did she play UN Squadron? I've seen a lot of people play it. I've never actually tried it. I've got it on my list of games to eventually play. Tsunati beat it not all that long ago. Well, this is like five or six months ago. Tsunati beat UN Squadron. Maybe we'll play it sometime. 69 Morbid, welcome. Hope you're having a nice day, dude. Welcome on in. Stunlock them! Yes. You can't really stunlock these guys, but I'm just like grasping at straws here. Yeah, but if you've not played this game, don't be that afraid of it. If you have a ranged weapon, you're in much better shape. So this guy would have already been dead by now. But 69 more, but it's going okay, man. And we're This is the last level of loop one. We have to do loop two to beat this game. Good! Perfect! RNG. Cool. Now, is that going to be armor? What's that going to be? That's going to be armor. I need to get that now. All right, we are doing, like, tiny amounts of damage. They run into the flames. It does do a little bit of damage. All right, there we go. You cheating piece of garbage! All right, now we have no health to work with. That's not going to be armor, by the way. Radical Lemur, welcome. Never played the arcade version of this. The art looks good. Yeah, it's a really good game. It's an outstanding game. I just selected a set of challenges for it that might not be in my best interest, but <laughs> other than that, it's a really good game. But welcome in, Radical Lemur. Hope you're having a nice day. Good to see you, man. Where's the chest? We gotta spawn the chest out just to keep the order going. And uh, we bugged her about it for so long, I think Spade had to pay her to try it, if I remember right. How did that go? <laughs> How well did it go? Because from what I've seen, UN Squadron is a very difficult game. Alright, there we go. One down. Yeah, Caleb, how did that go? I've got it on my list of things we're eventually going to play. But I cannot stand shmups. They make me so salty. Way worse than this. I mean, I can tolerate this kind of stuff. But you give me a shmup like Gradius, I'm going to lose my mind. I still don't know how we beat Gradius 3 or whatever it was. Alright, well there's armor if I can get close to it. Nope! I, I hate these things. Alright, well, now we've got, like, no chance here, but whatever. I've got to do damage to this thing quicker. The longer this fight drags out, the worse it's going to go. See, I can't even get near- I can't even get near it! Bullshit! In my opinion, Thunder Force 2 is the best shmup ever made on Genesis. How does that one play? Does it play like Gradius, where you take a hit and you lose all your stuff, and then you're like, might as well reset the game? Because that's how Gradius games play. Alright, RNG got me that time. Start over again. This is wonderful. This is just going fabulous. I love it. Uh, Musha on Genesis might be my top shmup. I, I've never, I've heard of that one, but that's one I've like never played. I try and stay away from those kind of games. I'm kind of afraid of them, just because I'm so bad at them. That's the problem. Uh, so hard to hold the armor. Yes, just keeping getting armor and keeping it on this is just nearly impossible, and that's what it's going to take to get a good run. We haven't even reached the boss yet. And there's no checkpoint at it, so it's basically kill it in one shot, or you play this forever. Now when we reach loop two of this level, it's going to be easier because I can get the bracelet, which we're going to need to finish the game. 
But until that happens, we have to use the torch here, and it's just going to be a problem. All right, dead. That's probably going to be the armor, yes. All right, two are down. Where's the other guy? If you don't kill these things, they just chase you. Great! Ah, that is so insane, dude. Gotta find the sweet spot for that. Gotta find the sweet spot. Ah, uh, I don't remember this was super early on. She did try it, though. The bugging her was the best part about the ordeal. That's cruel. Bugging an innocent, awesome person like Ellie. My goodness, Caleb. <laughs> What are you going to make her play next? Battle Toads? Might as well. <laughs> Might as well. Dude, I cannot keep the armor. I just can't keep it. EF2 is very, uh, Thunder Force 2 is very balanced. You could beat it with default weapons. Okay. Well, see, that's m more like my kind of game then. You see, people, when I like bring up my hatred of Gradius, they're like, but Mixer, Contra plays the same way. When you die in Contra, you lose all your weapons, and you die in one hit in that game. But see, Contra, the pea shooter is actually a good weapon. This is just not happening. This is unbelievable. This is unfreaking believable here. How can I do this fight better? I was getting fairly competent at it yesterday. Now I've like regressed everything I, I learned. Come on, make a somewhat decent RNG move in my favor. Thank you. I'll never bug anyone to do Battletoads. Someone wants that hell, they gotta embrace it themselves. Yeah, that would be our friend Rat right now. She is willingly taking on the horrors of Battletoads. And I think J-Dog should take on Battletoads next. I mean, he, he just beat Holy Diver. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Let's keep the insanity rolling. Great! I just, just once, just once I want to get past these with the armor. I know I've done it before, but I mean, odds are slim to none. They're freaking slim to none. All right, let's try this again. How, how well is this going to go? Not very well. That guy's probably going to drop the wrong weapon. Dude, this guy's much more aggressive. Look how fast he's attacking. Look how fast. I don't even get a chance to get near it. Not going to freaking happen. Not happening. We're being raided. Andy Lee James, welcome in, buddy. How's it going today? Good to see you. What were you working on? Let's get a shout out for the man. There we go. Playing retro. What were you working on? Thank you for the raid, dude. I hope all is going well. Uh, KMC, unfortunately, I can't read that. <laughs> I only speak English, unfortunately. I wish I was multilingual, but I am not. And welcome in. I hope you guys were having fun over there. I'm sure you were. Andy is a nice dude. No, Rat has not finished Battletoads yet. She made it to Intruder Excluder, which is the level where you climb upwards. Where's the chest? Dude, we gotta spawn this chest out. All right, maybe we won't, who cares? Moving on. This sucks so much. That green head kind of reminds me of the aliens from The Simpsons. Oh, yeah, the aliens that always show up in The Simpsons' treehouse of horror. <laughs> I bet you've seen a few of those. I bet we've all seen a few of those. They do that, at, like, every year. The Simpsons' treehouse of horror version 53 or something, whatever they're on by now. Simpsons have been out for, like, 53 years. Don't quote me on that, though. It's something ridiculous. All right, we're not getting that. We're not getting that. I'm just gonna die here. There's no hope of survival. Nah. I couldn't get the other chest out. Uh, we were having fun with Crash Bandicoot too. How's your stream going today? Uh, Cr Crash Bandicoot's that uh, dude that's that's like an action platformer series, right? That I think debuted on PlayStation. I've never played a Crash Bandicoot game, but I've heard like really good things about them. 
hope that was going well, man. But I have always heard that that's just like a really good, fun series. Yeah, I'm a Simpsons fan. Yeah, Simpsons. How many Tree Houses of Horrors have there been, Allie? At least 53, right? I'm, I know I'm close. <laughs> Any PB in a game is noteworthy. Yeah, she did get the new PB, and that was outstanding to see. Simpsons started on the Tracy Ullman show, Jax Knows His History. That is correct. Yeah, it was just like a, a very weird thing with The Simpsons, wasn't it? It wasn't even meant to be. It was like just a short. And Blue Eagle's raiding us now. Welcome in, Blue Eagle. How you doing today, man? What were you working on? A shout out for Blue Eagle. KFC, KMC, thank you for the follow, dude. I appreciate it. Good to have you aboard. And Blue Eagle, what were you working on? Donkey Kong Country. Okay, that's one I know. I've never played Donkey Kong Country. I know that sounds odd because that's like a, a classic, but I, I've never played it before. Never had a chance as a kid, and we'll stream it someday. The Blue Eagle, thank you for the raid, buddy. Appreciate it. Don't die here. Do not die here. That would be stupid. And Crash is a great game to play, yet contains a lot of fun stuff. I'm looking forward to it one day. I am looking forward to it. I've got it on my list to try out eventually. All right, well, we did pick the armor up. <laughs> It kept me alive, but I mean, we're not going to live much longer. I don't know if we, what even floor of this would be on. We're the best place to fight these guys. It seems kind of RNG-ish, what they do. This guy's got to die at some point. Alright, I'm going to just try and bum-rush this dude and get close to him and see if that works. Okay, I gotta back up a little bit more. I'm trying to, there's like, there is a safe spot you can find with those guys, but it, it's like pixel perfect. I'm gonna try it again next time. We're, can't even reach the boss, this is unbelievable. Thanks Mixer, we're playing Donkey Kong Country. I beat the level I was stuck on, now I gotta go to my girlfriend's birthday. Okay, sounds good man, thank you for dropping in with a raid. Hope you're having a fun Saturday. Saturday is a day for fun. Okay, if you're ducking, can they really not hit you here? That would have hit me. Okay. Alright, so this is positive. This is kind of what we need. We need to beat this room without taking a hit. It's kind of the first step to victory here. I love how the difficulty just spiked to absurd levels once we reached to this. Here, Home Improvement is a great game to try it, Mixer. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Just gonna pretend I didn't see it. You know, when they make video games, they're supposed to be fun, and Home Improvement, they forgot the whole thing that it's supposed to be fun. They just forgot fun. Nobody in their right mind would find that game fun. I, I just don't understand how that could even exist. All right, we got a chance here. Not a good one, but a chance. Nope, no sweet spot. They're not going to be a sweet spot there. All right, it's dead, but I'm going to die real soon here because we have a boss fight. All right, well, this is the best we've done today, but don't expect anything to happen here because this is a really nasty boss fight. Dude, what just, what kind of chance do you even have? What kind of chance do you even have? Crash is a great game to play. I, I'm looking forward to Crash Bandicoot. That ain't home improvement. That's actually a good game. Yes, I, I saw Spirit Buddy played it the other day. I, I He's crazy, but yeah. <laughs> I'd rather play Captain Planet again than play any type of home improvement. Much rather Captain Planet. All right, that chest gets bugged sometimes. It just doesn't want to spawn. Kind of bullshit, but what can you do? Putting up with enormous amounts of bullshit from this game right now. This is just enormous. RNG is even screwing me over now. It's supposed to be consistent. Guess what? It, it's not. It, it's not. Way too much RNG. This is rough, Retro Mike. It's insane. Look! No chest! This is not fair! I need that chest to spawn to keep the cycle going to where we can get armor. And of course it doesn't spawn again. Really?
You, will you go into an all-you-can-eat Japanese restaurant? Well, bring me with you. You can't not. You can't do that. And not take me. I'm just kidding. Have fun. Have a good time, man. Spade, what's going on, dude? Hope you're having a good day as well, buddy. This, yeah, this is a challenge that never ends. Of all the ghosts and goblins challenges we've attempted, this is moving up the list insanely quickly. I mean, even the Triblade and stuff like that in the Super Nintendo version, that doesn't compare to this. How you doing today, Spade? Good to see you, man. Hope all is well. You're ready to try this, right? This looks like a good challenge for you. Oh, that was nice. Okay, don't pick the axe up. The axe is also a really stupid weapon, by the way, for those that have not seen it. <laughs> All right, is this gonna be the armor? Okay, we can go back and get that armor if I take a hit here. I might take a hit here on purpose just to do a massive amount of damage to this thing. Okay, now I can go back and get the armor. See, this is ideal right here. Don't get hit now, okay. Run, 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 run. Okay, now we got a, a small opportunity, not a good one. We're getting better. All right, we have to outrange this thing or it will hit you. I don't know if that counts to hit or not. I don't think it does. Oh my god, loop two, here we go. Oh, we can't read it. <laughs> this is a Japanese version. It's harder, that's why I picked it. Anyway, he's saying you gotta go find the bracelet. You gotta go find the bracelet. That's all he's saying. Holy freaking crap, we did it. This is, loop two is just starting though. We have a long way to go. All right, princess, we know. We gotta go find the bracelet. I get that. Kadiz, welcome in. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Great to have you aboard. Let's do loop two. <laughs> loop two is here. Yeah, why didn't he just give it to us exactly? Why did why do we have to go all the way back to here again? We have to do the whole game again, but that's okay. It's not gonna be that bad. We know what we're doing. Everything's gonna work well. Let's get uh, thank you for all these GG's, guys. I appreciate it. I might learn this Deathless for Genesis. I was thinking about doing a one credit clear of it, Sean. Deathless, <laughs> Deathless, I don't know, but you could definitely handle Deathless, not me. But yeah, I would love to see you do that. I was thinking about a one credit clear since we've done one credit clears of the NES and the Super Nintendo one. Got, got to add the Genesis one as well. And then there's the Turbo Graphics one, which has three continues anyway and is like diabolical. Thank you for all the GGs, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And welcome in, Proto. What's going on, man? Congrats on the PB last night on the Ninja Gaiden Challenge. Glad I got to see that. That was awesome stuff. Good to have you in today. And uh, who else is joining us? Jaggy Man, welcome in. I'm, I'm, I'm picking out people that are just joining in. Fell Sorcerer, welcome aboard. Irate Mexican, welcome in. Rob, welcome in. Good to see everybody. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. What is going on? We just made it to loop two for you, those guys just joining us. Good, I want to be an old man. Perfect. Perfect. People think we're already old at age 41. Guess what? We're not. Old is like 75, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die on that hill saying that old is like 75. It ain't 41. I'm not calling myself old. Screw that. I'm still 18 and holding. All right, this is much harder. There's way more enemies. It's loop two. <laughs> oh, he wants us to get our own bracelet. They're very expensive. I guess so. If it's a magical bracelet that shoots like Hadouken beams, I, 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 that would definitely not be cheap. But welcome in, Rob. Welcome in, Irate Mexican, Jaggy Man. All you guys just joining us. Hope you're having an awesome day. Things are working well now that we've made it to loop two. 
I thought we were going to be stuck on that for another two hours or something. Great! You know what that means? Do you have any idea what that means? If we beat this, we have to play Darkwing Duck. I don't really want to play Darkwing Duck. <laughs> Maybe I should just start playing like crap on purpose to delay everything so we don't have to play Darkwing Duck. Nah, you guys would be able to tell if I was doing that. Can't do that. Can't do it. I'm, uh oh, there's the knife. Don't want that. That's something you would normally never say in Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, there's the knife. I don't want it. <laughs> if you're really playing this for the first time ever, get the knife. Just get it. Just absolutely go get it. Highlight streamer, let's go. In your dreams. <laughs> in your dreams, Goten. <laughs> Super highlight. We've seen that enough you playing it. We don't need to see more. That's, we're more than good. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're gonna be a full pro time super. Yeah, exactly. Caleb's got the right idea. Goten's just gonna stream, just do a speed, a super highlight speed runner. That's perfect. Great idea. Hard game. You have my blessings. Oh, dark, you're talking about Darkwing Duck Jacks. I remember when you briefly, or you ended up beating it. I remember hearing about that. I don't even think I saw you got to play it, but I remember hearing about it. I'm kind of worried <laughs> when we get there how it's gonna go. I've only uh, the only experience I have with Darkwing Duck on Turbo Graphics is the AVGN episode. It's pretty ridiculous. Virtual Highlight, hard pass on that one. No, thank you. That's probably even the worst version of it. What the hell is up with Highlight and just garbage? It's like synonymous with garbage. All right, we know. Jesus! Is Darkwing Duck a bad one? It's Capcom. Uh, the NES version of Darkwing Duck on just a regular Nintendo, that's a really good game, Zaylin. And we did that one on stream um, three or four months ago, and I liked it. It's kind of like Mega Man, except you play as Darkwing. It's kind of got the same game engine and stuff. How is this going? I hate level one in this. Level one is a, a, a abnormally trolly in this game. It's kind of like Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. That's got some terrible level ones as well. Mixer should become a full-time highlight streamer. No, 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 no! Well, at least we might be getting somewhere in that. Not getting anywhere here right now. Yeah, there's a Turbo Graphics version. It's apparently very bad, and we're going to try it out. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to beat it today, but I'm going to give it a, a shot. I don't know if it has like limited continues. I don't know anything about it that, other than that it sucks. Freaking! High. It's got to be better than Hydlide. Let's. We'll, I will go ahead and establish that fact that it's probably not going to be as bad as Hydlide. All Hydlides all the time. <laughs> oh goodness! No, go ten. You need to be like Jax. See, Jax had his birthday the other day, and he played Solar Jetman on his birthday. I think you need to follow suit and do the same. I, I think that needs to be a tradition. Solar Jetman on your birthday. What better way to celebrate than with that masterpiece of a game? <laughs> That's right. Jack, you're the only man brave enough to ever consider that idea. <laughs> Have a happy birthday. Have some Solar Jetman. <laughs> Good freaking grief. Oh, oh boy. All right, finish him off. We got iframes. Yes. Okay. Finish them off. There we go. The original 1984 PC 88 highlights established many of the conventions of the RPG genre. Bell Sorcerer, you're correct. And I think the PC version of that was actually somewhat good. Maybe not great, but it did like establish like the action RPG type settings. Oh, that was a lucky dodge. That wasn't. <laughs> And it, I think the Ease series and maybe it was inspired by Hide Light because it uses the same type of attack, the bump combat system. So there is something good to say about Hide Light that it actually did inspire other games that got better along the way. So it wasn't a total loss. But the NES version, yeah, and like Super and all those are pretty bad. Overworld Dungeon Slime Treasure Hunting. Yeah, it, it had a lot going for it. Just the execution. Oh, that went well. That went good.
Coffee Wipey just mumbled, Solar Shit Man seems she has an opinion. Did she see me play at any coffee? Jax is working on it right now. God rest his soul, too. <laughs> oh, you're making progress, though, Jax. Hang in there. You'll get, you'll get through it. It's only a matter of time. It's like your playthrough of it is kind of like mirroring my own. The same things are going wrong. The same things are going well. The same, you're coming up with the same ideas. It's like, <laughs> it just is what it is. There's just no getting through it anyway. She said she watched some of you playing it. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? It was an experience, to say the least. Imagine doing a death... We, 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 you kind of need to do Deathless Solar Jetman if you want to get through it. I think it was concurrent with Ease 1, which played very similar. You're right, Culep. Same type of combat style. It's like that bumping into enemies to kill them, which is kind of awkward for that kind of game, but Ease did it a lot better than Hydelide did, that's for sure. Zombie the Geek, welcome in. Appreciate the follow, dude. Good to have you aboard. We're on loop two here. We're working our way through it. There's a red Aramur. We don't really need to kill him, but it's just one. It's just one. Okay, let's just go for the checkpoint. There, he's dead. He's dead, and I'm dead too. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Is that going to be a weapon? Okay, we just got to be really careful not to pick up another weapon. Got to be good dodge. Can't get lives, though. Game is stingy. Yeah, you, it's, it's insane. They should have given you back one life per level. I think that would not have been too much to ask. Is that going to be armor? Of course it's, why, why would it be armor just at this point? Just why? Why? They're not gonna give you armor, just get used to it. Not gonna happen. Don't be a weapon. Okay. You gotta be careful. This is an uh, arcade game, it's all about quarter munching and making money, you're right. But we could get through it a lot quicker and easier if I was actually using the knife, which is the definitive Ghosts and Goblins weapon. Not the torch, the torch is just a troll weapon designed to make the game harder, I swear to God. This can't be a weapon anyone would willingly choose, given the opportunity. All right. I'll take a hit there. No big deal. Highlight a series of dice rolls. It kind of is. And not fun. My first thought is, though, when you make a video game, the first thing you should ask yourself is, is this fun to play? If the answer is no, scrap it and start over. Or at least make adjustments. And there's, like, so many of the bad games. Really? How did that happen? How did that happen? That should have gone better. I, I'm not even going to hit that one. There's no reason to do so. Having two loops in a game like this, I think, was overkill. I, I like it, but I mean, not if I was having to like put quarters in. That's really stealing money there. Now, for like a Infinite Lives, which you basically have in all the home versions of this, except for the Super Nintendo one, that one's a little bit different with the limited continues, but it's still pretty lenient. You're just going to die a lot. All right, that went much better. Now we got the armor. Now we're going to be fine. We'll drop this guy, though. It's a little bit trolly. Not the worst weapon for this fight. It's really not. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, knew we'd be good with that. Is this a fun game, fun to play? I don't know how to explain to people getting over it or what that's called. Getting over it. Yeah, <laughs> AJ, I've got that game. I'm kind of dreading playing it though. Getting over it where you're in the pot and climbing a mountain. Yeah, I've got that. And I've played Jump King, which is also a similar game. We've played a lot of Jump King on stream and actually beat all the content for it. We somehow pulled it off. And Sean beat getting over it with his chin. That just, that's the stuff of legends right there. Amazingly enough. But I'm kind of like more... Wor what is that? A one-up? It is. That, that's going to help us. We've got infinite lives and we've just got a one-up. I've never seen that before. I didn't even know that was a thing. 
All right, the torch needs to do something there. All right, we gotta get through this wall. You have to break through or you get crushed. All right, made it through barely. Now there's a, there's a limited time offer to get through this little window over here. All right, there we go. In progress. Already back to the checkpoint. See, this level's not that hard. This is just not that hard. Fool's License is the sharp port of this is really good. Also known as really close to this arcade version. But only has two continues. I think that's kind of like the Turbo Graphics version of this as well. It also has limited continues. I mess around with that one a little bit off stream. And it's really tough. How? What? How did I get stuck there? I don't know what happened. I think that ha also happens on the... Oh, we can't get that. I'm going to die. I'm going to die on purpose here. We can't pick up a bad weapon. Actually, that's a better weapon than what we've got, but you, you guys get my point here. It's a torch-only run. As far as I got about a month ago, you masochistic mofo. How you doing, man? Feline, what's going on? We're on loop two, man. <laughs> we've already gone through the game once, so we're making extreme progress here. I'm kind of excited about it. Which means we actually have a chance to complete this challenge. But welcome in, Feline. Hope you're having a nice day, man. We're getting there. Things are happening now that we beat Loop 1, which might end up being harder than Loop 2. AJ, hope you're having a nice day as well, man. Great to see you. Ask them statues what the tongues do. Let's not find out. Let's just, just not think about it. <laughs> no tongues. All right, I knew that guy was going to hit me once, but that's fine. We should be able to finish him off, or we should just die. Wonderful. I played this drunk at a barcade as far as I got. Not Loop 2, though. This is not an... Yeah, th this level, you kind of have to know where to go, and it plays identical to the Genesis version. Well, I just say I know where to go and just went the wrong way. Getting over it is golf with a pickaxe, basically. <laughs> basically... That's not really a game I want to play, but I'm sure we'll run into it at some point. That's not going to be a weapon, is it? You have to just be very careful about the... Oh, I'm going to die here, yeah. <laughs> Whoops! Gunjack, how are you doing today, buddy? Hope you're having a nice day. Good to see you. Happy Saturday to you and to Effily, who just joined us as well. Welcome in. Good to see you guys. I'm kind of excited. I think we're going to be able to complete this today. Now that we beat level 5, that was like the major hole. This bug is not in the right place. The hell is this bug doing? Don't be there. How about? Is Ghouls and Ghosts the second one after this? Yes. Uh, this is the direct sequel to the original Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, the next... Dude, what the hell am I doing here? I don't know. Playing like I'm drunk or something. That's not a thing. No! We can't pick up the knife. Yeah, this is a sequel to the original Ghosts and Goblins. The next one that came after this was Super Ghouls and Ghosts on Super Nintendo. And I'm not sure which one came next. What came after that? Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins, I believe, is the next one after the Super NES one. And then you had Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. Dude, everything is going wrong here right now. These bugs are just doing their best to ruin the run. They're doing their best. Goten's going to be playing some Fortnite for birthday. And I better see winning or I'm going to demand you turn it off and go back to high light or something. So you better start winning some games. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with a bug joke as in software bugs, but I got nothing. Should be a Windows joke hidden in there. Yeah, there's unlimited jokes for how crappy Windows can be. Good old Windows. Always doing what you don't want it to do, right? Oh, time for a Windows update right in the middle of doing something important. I actually had a stream crash one day because Windows tried to do a Windows update in the middle of the stream. And for some reason, it just totally screwed me over. I don't know how it happened. Normally, it doesn't. But yeah, Windows decided, oh, you're not streaming today. It ain't happening. Uh, feline, uh, feline, you need to go back to this game. I think you could, you could get it. You really could. I really think so. 
Spade, you need to try this. You like these kind of challenges. There's a lot of you guys that need to be doing this kind of stuff. Absolutely. Ultimate was G&G 4. Okay, that's what I was kind of thinking, Culep. You're not wrong about that. I uh, always get these two games muddled up. Yeah, totally understandable. I did too for a long time until I actually dug into them and started playing them. Pick up the remaster that came out about a year ago. It combines the two arcades on a legendary Loop 2 scale. It's insane, hard, and fun. Remaster that came out about a year ago? Feline, put the link to that in the chat. I want to see it. I want to see it. If it's more Ghosts and Goblins content, give it to me. I can't get enough. And then we'll do challenges with that version as well. Just the regular game's not hard enough. We need to make find a way to make it harder. And if you haven't played G and G R, which is the new one that came out like two years ago or one year ago or something, go play it. It's great. Customizable difficulty. You don't have to play on Legend. Legend is psychotic. It took 20 streams for me to beat Legend difficulty, and we died 2,000 times, kind of like we're doing right now. Pern, welcome in, buddy. How are you doing today? I see you sneaking in. Hope you're having a wonderful day, man. What? Wow! 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 How did that happen? I don't know. Playing like garbage, that's how. I didn't pick up a weapon, did I? I'm reading chat. Pern! Thank you for the hundred bits, man. Dude, you don't have to do that, but I really appreciate it. Thank you so very much for those hundred bits. Like I've said before, for people that may not have heard me, nobody ever has to donate subs, bits, anything here. We're just about having a good time. So never feel you need to do that. I wanted to just, I wanted to stream to uh, have a good time playing games and make some friends. And guess what? We've accomplished that and a lot more. So I am in a very happy place with streaming these days. I wasn't always. I was streaming Team Fortress 2 for a while. That was a grave mistake. That was not good. That's got a bad community. And I did download Ghost and Demons, but for some reason I couldn't get it to work. It was very buggy and crash-like. If I can try, uh, maybe I'll just try and download it again. I have a tendency to when things don't work, like downloading things and trying to get them to work like the first time. If they don't, I have a tendency to just go, all right, screw it, I'm not bothering. But I, I need to uh, need to go back to that one. Because it's a fan-made Ghosts and Goblins game that's difficult. Would be right up my alley. But I need to try again. Right, let's be careful here. Let's We're on the verge of victory in this fight. This guy's almost dead. He's dead. He's dead. But no, we need to play, uh... We need to play that. I saw that, Spade. I saw that. I saw the little Nemo uh, Kickstarter going on. I hope they're able to make that game, because that looks like a lot of fun. Very charming graphics. Definitely need that one. What's that going to be? A bad guy. Why would it not be? Why would it not be? That's an awkward noise that thing makes when it shoots stuff. Ghosts and Demons, really good challenge for you, Mixer, if you can get it running smoothly. Yeah, I could not get it to work. I don't understand why. I've never had a problem getting a fan-made game to work. That one just wouldn't do anything right. I've got Mega Man uh, go, uh, Rock and Roll. I've got a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde remake that's good. So I, I've downloaded a pretty good bit of fan games, but I don't know why Ghosts and Demons just didn't work. I don't get it. Don't get it, but I'll try again. I had to make some Chef Boyardee. I felt lazy. What'd you have? A can of SpaghettiOs? Chef Boyardee. I haven't heard that name in a while. I used to eat like, the spaghetti and hot dogs combination and uh, in that back in the day. Good stuff when nobody's home and you're hungry. It's a, it's a, a good meal. That's a healthy meal if you're a kid. Well, not exactly, but... Okay, I'm an old man. That's fine. Fox, welcome in. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. We're on loop two of this. We're making progress. There's a good chance that this challenge will be completable today. Welcome in, Fox. I'm, I'm going to put up, uh, what is it, RoboCop 2 up for a trash redemption pretty soon. So, and I don't really want to learn about it. You told me it had unlimited continues, and that's kind of all I needed to hear. But other than that, I'm going to go into it being completely blind. Because I've heard some trolly things about it, and I'm just really curious. 
I did the ravioli. I think I've had that a long time ago. It's kind of good. <laughs> Maybe I need to, what? How did that happen? That didn't happen last time. I like it when things change. Already got Ghosts and Ghouls tech, uh, Ghosts and Ghouls in the Capcom arcade thingy, so I don't really need to buy the Resurrection one. Uh, the Resurrection one is brand new, so I think you do need to get that one, and it's really, really good. It just came out last year, and it's a totally new Ghosts and Goblins game. And if you like these kind of games, that is highly recommended. It is outstanding. You cannot go wrong. But the legend difficulty on it is diabolical. One of the hardest things I've ever played. So for you guys that want an insane challenge, that's that's for you. Go ten with a gift sub to Feline and Fox. Go ten. Thank you so much, dude. As always, I deeply appreciate it. Enjoy your free subs, guys, courtesy of our pal Goten. Very, very cool. That was not cool. <laughs> These things are doing different stuff on loop, too. They're changing the pattern here. And Goten, again, I appreciate it very much, dude. Too kind. I was considering getting some SpaghettiOs the other day, but I had like seven cans to get full and was cost prohibitive. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, one can of SpaghettiOs was enough when you were a kid, but yeah, maybe eating them today would not be the same thing. I'm kind of nostalgic for it. Great. The snake got me. Really? The freaking snake. Of all the enemies, the slow-moving snake. Well, missed a jump there. Whoops. Yeah, you need to buy it, zombie. You need to buy it. Go Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. And if you dare try it on Legend, don't say I didn't warn you. But it is fun. It's a fun game. Ghouls and Ghosts No Death Run win. Well, we got kind of close in the other games, Eater. We got a one credit clear of the NES one and the uh, Super Nintendo one. So that's about as close as I'm going to get to a No Death Run in these games. I think the Super Nintendo one would be the best bet for a Deathless Run. Simply if you get the knife and then you get the gold armor and then you keep that combination and then use the magic spells, totally doable. But it would also require a lot of luck because there is RNG in that game. Oh, the torch might help here. All right, there we go. All right, we've got a hard boss fight coming up right here. I'm going to try and get the middle one first. That's the most dangerous part about this fight. All right, good start. How did I not hit the grub? All right, there we go. Chef Boyardee Ravioli's a guilty pleasure. Nothing wrong with that. I would like to have some. I haven't had any in like 25 years or something. That would be a nice trip. Oh, uh, he's going to go to... Ha <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's a guy who ate a 50-year-old box of Chef Boyardee lasagna. How did that go? Did he survive? Or was it? Did it have enough preservatives to actually make it eat? Make it edible? I almost said eatable. That's not a word. This fight's not going too well. All right, three are down. Two more to go. We might make it. We might not. This weapon is actually good in this fight. This is one of the few times the torch is useful. But then the level after this, the torch is god awful. All right, just crush that. Holy crap. We crushed it! Yeah, you know, I almost said eatable. <laughs> I was trying to say edible. I was trying. Alright, here we go. It did not go well. Okay, not well at all. I'm not surprised. What kind of crazy person would eat 50-year-old food? Somebody that wants views on stream or on YouTube or something. And that's kind of the thing with like YouTube and Twitch and stuff. It's forcing people to do insane things. To just to get views, kind of like that jackass show on TV. That's fishing for views, if there ever was. That's fishing. Like some guys that like have bees attack their nuts or something. That's the kind of stuff they do on jackass. They drive golf carts off the roof of houses. All right, this guy just needs to move down. All right, you, you got to move down, or I can't. This is going good. Wow! How are you doing that? You're cheating.
Classics, how are you doing today, buddy? Hope you're having a nice day. Are you playing Blaster Master? You said you made it to level four the other day. That's major progress in that game. That's, that's not a game where progress happens too often. But I love Blaster Master. I'm glad you're playing it. Dude, if somebody's annoying you, just ignore them. You run your stream the way you want to. Don't let anybody control the way you run your stream. You're in charge. Don't let, don't ever think differently. Great, we'll take all of them on at once. That's beautiful. Great, awesome. Is that gonna be armor? No, that's gonna be a weapon. Now I'm stuck. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, I don't want that. Now we've got two Aramers bearing down on me. Let's see if we can still win. Yeah, we can win. These guys are no threat. Your stream, your rules, exactly. Exactly. I understand having a video, but I'm on a retro game and don't want to stop to watch a video to beat a boss. Agreed. Agreed. You do what you want. That was troll, troll, troll. I should have known better. That's a dragon spawn spot. I was too close. All right, we go again. This is not that bad of a spot, though. Uh... Let me catch up with you guys. I'm falling behind here. Zaylin says those those sell those free dried oh free dried camping foods that are good for 50 years. So yeah, you can eat those. You can eat those, and that's fine. That's stuff like you can hide back in, like for a disaster or something. That's like one of those food kit things. I've seen those for sale. Canned spaghetti is gross. It was when I was a kid too. You didn't like it then. Perfectly imperfect. Sometimes you have to eat it. <laughs> Box of crackers. Welcome in. I see you. See you sneaking in there with a GG. How you doing today? Welcome. I was inspired by this boss. Use it to win a citywide art contest. I was in junior high. I was in the paper and everything. Are you talking about that worm thing compile? Because that is kind of interesting, that fight. It's, it's trolly, but it, it's kind of a neat fight. It's in Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection as well as a mini boss. The worst is that canned whole chicken. Every time I see someone open one of those, I scream. A canned whole chicken radical? That, I don't know if I've seen that or not. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Caleb, we're getting there, man. We're on loop two. We're on level five again. We're probably going to beat it. And guess what we're going to play? Oh, my God. Every time we make progress in this, we're getting closer to Darkwing Duck. I don't think I want to do that. But we're going to have no choice. Studio Scott, how are you doing today, buddy? It's Macho Mixer, cream of the crop. That's too kind for me, dude. You, you can't lavish those kind of compliments on this idiot. But how you doing today, Studio Scott? Hope you're having a nice day, buddy. Good to see you, as always. Sale Cat, yes, Big Mac dropped by, and he asked if we were live or a repeat. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I could uh, let you know about that. Big Mac came by, yeah, and he asked it. He asked that I should ban him, but if I did, like people would be like, Hey, where's Big Mac? See, that's why we shouldn't ban him. <laughs> Is this stream live or a repeat? Of course, there we go. Troll me. Do it, compile. Have to go have fun, torch and stuff. Norad, no problem. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Always a pleasure. I haven't seen any myself for a long time. What are you talking about? What are you talking about with that? Uh, Twinkies? I haven't had Twinkies in forever. They're not... Twinkies have too many calories. They're not good for you. That's a dessert. There's desserts that are worse for you, though, but don't get Twinkies. Good freaking God. I haven't had those since I was like a teenager. They still make Twinkies? Who knows? They don't eat dessert. That's bad stuff. Too much sugar. Don't need any of that crap. Doing good. Thinking about playing some more of the Donkey Kong Country 2 ROM hat. Trying to beat World 1. World 1, is it that hard? <laughs> Sounds like my kind of game. Something to just rage at over and over. Sure, I'm not missing anything from you guys. Uh, somehow, even though I beat level 3, it was stressing me. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Classics, you're not doing anything wrong, dude. Blaster Master is just a hard game. And it takes a long time to learn it and get everything down. But you're doing fine making it that far. I can't wait to see your reactions to some of the deeper levels. <laughs> wait till you see some of the bosses. <laughs> Level 6 boss looking at you. If you've never played Blaster Master, that's a, that's a, that's a heck of a game. 
All right, good progress. Good progress. We're doing fine. There's that stupid dragon. He got me last time. He got me again. That's on me. That is on nobody but me for not anticipating. Get good. That is a get good moment right there. That's an even bigger get good moment. Great. Just kill me. Stupid start. Happily quirky. How you doing today? Welcome in. Welcome to a really dumb play. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? It's a bunch of bone dragons. It's not that hard. This is easy. This is easy. See? Easy. This part's not even hard. Alright, I know you're gonna swoop at me. Alright, run at me. Do you like the... That's right. That's how it goes. Remember those uh, taking those to me, uh, taking those with me to school and lunch. I I think I did that as well. Meows. That was kind of like a rite of passage for like elementary school back in the day, or maybe even high school. That's like the last time I had that kind of stuff. Crazy Russian hacker. He does MREs around the world. I would that would be fascinating to see. I'm surprised he's still well. MREs are supposed to last a long time. Meals ready to eat. We actually, my grandfather actually brought a sealed meal ready to eat back home from like World War II, and my grandmother had it for a long time. It was kind of insane. I think it got lost or thrown away at some point, but I, I was I remember seeing it when I was a kid. What? Bullshit. That was bullshit. That's what that was. All right, get good. Get freaking good. It's like a Kaizo in Studio Scott for Donkey Kong Country. Well, that sounds really fun. You can't go wrong with Kaizo Mario, Kaizo Ninja Gaiden, Castlevania, you name it. If it's Kaizo, I want to play it. I've only done one Kaizo game on stream, and it was like semi Kaizo. It was Mario 2. And it what was it called? Uh, Return to Subcon. Mario 2 Kaizo hack. It was not as hard as some, but it was, all, it was pretty difficult. I enjoyed it. If you like Mario 2, go get that one. But I had a lot of fun with it. That was recommended by several people to me, and I really enjoyed it. All right, we got to move before that dragon shows up. There he is. He's right here. All right, we also need to try and get the uh, need to get the the bracelet now because we're on the last level. That's gonna let us finish the game. All right, we're knocking through these pig dudes. They're not that much of a threat. I remember one stream we were playing the Genesis version. And somebody was like, "Oh, look, it's Ganon." <laughs> that ain't Ganon. Come on. I preferred the Hostess cupcakes and the Twinkies. And again, I admit I'm a chocolate fiend. Nothing wrong with being a chocolate fiend. Chocolate is awesome. And I did like those more than Twinkies as well. Twinkies don't even have chocolate. They have, what, like cream filling or something? I don't even remember. It's been too long. All right, we lost our armor. I'm kind of screwed here. I kind of need to go ahead and die because you have to pick up the chest in order if you want to do anything with this. Uh, peanut butter cups. I will take those all day long, Gaijin. Reese's peanut butter cups are awesome. I can't really eat them anymore, though. Too heavy. I used to eat Twinkies, and I discovered Little Debbie's banana twins and never looked back. Happily Quirky, what are those? Banana Twins. Is that a new dessert? I'm not, I'm not up to date on my desserts. I'm about as up to date on dessert as I am on modern video games, as in, like, not at all. <laughs> Alright, let's start picking up chests here. We gotta get the... Alright, just take another death. Take another freaking death! Love it! Doesn't matter, we got Unlimited Continues. Yeah, that was totally... That was Ganon, right, Studio Scott? Somebody said that on stream one day. Oh, look, there's Ganon. I was like, I don't remember Ganon being in Ghosts and Goblins, but whatever floats your boat. All right, where's that chest? Where the hell's the chest? This is rigged. This is rigged. It's supposed to spawn right there, and it's not. Maybe you have to wait for that guy to, like, completely die. I don't know. Well, anyway, this run's probably ruined. Oh, if you're ducking, yeah, it's great to know that if you're ducking here, they can't even hit you. 
two birthdays. Uh, this is Hungry Gurria's birthday today as well. That's nice. I'm gonna have to wish her a happy birthday also. Maybe she'll play some Solar Jetman for her birthday. <laughs> that, that's what we need. More so Solar Jetman birthdays. All right, what's this gonna be? Gold armor, okay, I can't. Actually, I think I have to get it. Well, that's fine, as long as I don't use a magic spell. As long as we don't do that, the run will be fine. All right, this is where the bracelet's gonna be, I believe. We have to get the bracelet. There's the bracelet. Okay, give it to me. All right, now we actually have a decent weapon. <laughs> All right, the torch run is over now. No more torch. But you have to have this weapon to beat the game, which is fine. Nate, welcome in. How you doing today, man? You had some nice runs yesterday of good old Chip and Dale. You almost had that PB, and then you got trolled right near the end. You were five seconds ahead of your best time. And then it all came crashing down, and I don't know how you guys are able to tolerate that in speed running. I know I could not. I could not do it. Dude, look at this. This weapon is so good. This is an awesome weapon. This ain't the torch. And this, you have to equip this weapon if you want to finish the game. There we go, just annihilate everything. This is a real weapon. Not that godforsaken torch. Wicked Lord Jasper, how you doing today, man? Welcome in. Hope you're having a nice day. We're almost to the end of this challenge, and we have to play some absolute garbage. Oh, uh, was Super Mario World Hacky Played Mixer? I don't remember if it was Kaizo or not. Uh, Studio Scott, I did Superstar Mario World on stream. It was not Kaizo, but it was Super Mario World, just a more difficult version. And I also did Brutal Mario World. That was not good at all. I hated that one. It was really garbagey. But Superstar Mario World was a good hack. And I would recommend that one. It's not Kaizo level. It, it's just harder than normal, but very reasonable. And for Super Mario 2, we did Return to Subcon, which was outstanding. It was really tough, but that was kind of like a Kaizo light hack. How? How the hell? Okay. Get good. We gotta get good here. We gotta get good. Okay, I'm not picking up the gold armor, by the way, because that would make it easier. That makes this weapon better. So we're just not gonna get it. That keep a little challenge here. No magic run still. Wicked Lord Jasper, no magic. Not gonna cast any magic spells. Gotta keep that difficulty up there. Did the run offline for my YouTube. All levels, no skips to this piece of shit PC. Recorded at a lower frame rate. De definitely, yeah, you want to record stuff at like 60 frames per second. You need a pretty high-end computer. If you don't want it to just like completely lag out. My, I've had this computer now for about four years. It, it gets the job done. Uh, have you heard of Zelda 2 Winter Solstice? Hard Zelda 2 hack. I watched the playthrough of it and it looks fun. Yeah, I downloaded it. We're going to play it on stream one day, Studio Scott. Expect uh, Zelda Winter Solstice one, Zelda 2 Winter Solstice one day we will play it. I'm kind of scared of it, but yeah, we're going to play it. It's Zelda 2. How could you go wrong? All right, we're not going to make it on this run either. I'm just not doing a very good job here. Oh, we might make it now if we can beat this uh, wasp. Oh, great. I forgot he can hurt you when he's still forming. Whoops. <gasps> Whoops! Okay, back to it again. It's not going to be that hard to finish this. Now, doing this level on loop one, that was the real challenge of this. We're, we're just kind of done with it at this point. But yeah, we'll play that at some point. Zelda 2. There's a lot of Zelda 2 hacks. There's one called, uh, there's Winter Solstice, there's Return of Ganon, there's Amida's Curse. There, there's a lot of good ones. AVG and Mike Matei got stuck on this boss because they had the sword. They had to stop playing because it was the Genesis version. They should have kept going, Compile. I did a sword-only run of the Genesis one. It's possible. It's totally possible. It's really trolly, but yeah, it's doable. They shouldn't have given up so quick. Need to hack it to not require the bracelet. Don't know if you can beat Lucifer with a torch. Uh, I bet if you could get to him, he's probably weak to it, but I'm guessing... That it would probably... Yeah, you would need a definite hack to make it happen that way. Actually, I might be able to do that, believe it or not. 
I might be able to do that. It would have to be like a cheat, but we could try switching to the torch on him. <laughs> we could try it because see here in the uh, here in the dip switches for this game, if you go to cheat. This is actually the arcade version. Always have weapon, torch, shield. Okay, fireball, that's the thing we have. So I could switch it manually to torch at Lucifer and see what happens. It might crash the game, though. Thank you so much, No Life. How are you doing today? Yeah, see, No Life, you read my mind. You just said Amita's Curse. That's the one I was thinking for Zelda 2 as well. I haven't played any of those Zelda 2 hacks, but I would be for playing them because I love Zelda 2 so much. It's like my favorite game of all time. And no life, dude. Again, thank you so much for the bits, man. I really appreciate it. You don't have to do that, but thank you so much. Appreciate that. There's an 8-bit Mega Man 7 too. I want to try that. Allie, is there? Let me make a note of that. Mega Man 7 8-bit and I'm going to put your name by it too, Allie, since you recommended it. I want to look at that. <laughs> I'm like really curious now. I like Mega Man 7, but I would like to see an 8-bit version of it as well. What are you up to today, No Life? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, you read my mind. I was thinking of Amita's Curse as well for Zelda 2. I haven't tr like tried any of them yet. I know, uh, I, I know Winter Solstice is like really hardcore. And we'll, we'll try it one day. And this guy should be much easier to beat with this weapon. No, he's gonna get me. Yeah, you, you gotta. I should have backed up more to the right. That was my fault. That was stupid play. Or maybe I died on purpose there subconsciously, so we don't have to play Darkwing Duck. Maybe that, that was going on. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not, but whatever. Uh, Code Equestria, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Thank you for the good luck. I really appreciate it. We're on loop two, so that we're on the verge of winning this challenge. We've already ditched the torch because you have to ditch it to, to finish the game. But yeah, we're almost there. It's been a hell of a run, and I've really enjoyed this challenge now that we're done with the torch. <laughs> The torch is gone. Just, just hanging out watching the kiddo play in the kiddie pool, trying to stay cool. Supposed to hit 100 plus today. No life, where are you? Where are you? I'm curious. You might live fairly close to me. It's always like stupidly hot here at this time of the year. Right now it's like 90 where I am with a lot of humidity. Miserable stuff. Good, perfect. All right, now well, I'm going to get my armor back. Hey, Retro Shim, what's going on, man? Hope you're having a nice day. Welcome aboard. Thank you for the good luck, dude. We are just about to finish it. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're on the verge of victory here. And at least we have the right weapon. This thing is just... Wow! I hate this guy. Can you just skip... Nope, you can't just skip him. You can't do that. The Zalen's trolling me with some Darkwing Duck right there. He's ready for it. That's going to be an experience. Maybe I'll just keep dying here on purpose so we don't have to play Darkwing Duck. That, oh, oh, did I take a hit? Oh, I'm. Oh, I took a hit there. Big deal. <laughs> oh my goodness! Darkwing Duck Turbo gets <laughs> sailing. We're not playing it. I'm just gonna just pretend I'm not playing well here and just stall out. Nah, I can't do that. I couldn't do that. You're in uh, California, east of San Francisco. Hot, not humid at all. Just dry heat. Dude, no life. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. I would take dry heat over this hideous heat in Alabama all day long. I'm very jealous. Can I move to San Francisco as well and enjoy some nice dry heat? I'll, I'll take it, dude. It's like 70% humidity here today. You can't even go outside without sweating. You just you can't do it. Hope you're having a good day, Shim. Pleasure to see you as always, my friend. We are almost there. I am excited about this. I'm not picking that up because we might take a hit and I'm going to need the armor. <laughs> but no gold armor. That makes this weapon upgraded and I don't want it upgraded. We're going to just add, just like keep the challenge going here. Is that going to be a weapon? Nope. Now, the Hadouken, this thing does not do that much damage unless you're like right in something's face. 
That was really stupid. Okay, let's go back and get the uh, armor. Dude, if they spawned out a weapon in that chest, hopefully I can jump past that. Does the game force you away from the torch on loop too? Yes, Caleb. You have to pick this weapon up, which is, I think they call it, it's called the bracelet. It looks like a Hadouken from Street Fighter. That's basically what it is. But you have to have that weapon or you cannot complete loop two. And it's a good weapon. It kind of sucks in the Super Nintendo version, but... But you have to have it. If you're having trouble, there's always your favorite bear game. Effley, I'm going to pretend you didn't say that, buddy. I'm just going to pretend that wasn't said. Yeah, I don't handle humidity at all. Never visit the south, no life. Do not visit it. This is a terrible place if you hate humidity. I've lived here my whole life, and I cannot stand it. I need to move somewhere with better weather. All right, let's see if this... Nope, they're not going to... I'm probably going to kill them here. He's dead. Okay, now we get to fight Loki or Lucifer or Sardius or whatever the hell they call him. This is Satan. Look at this guy. They just couldn't call him Satan because of censorship issues. This is totally Satan. He's not very hard. Well, I just went down the hole. Studio Scott gifting a sub to Retro Shim. Studio Scott, buddy, you don't have to do that, man. I really appreciate it. Wow, that went well. That went well. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it very, very much. Too kind. Too, too kind. Okay, thank you very much, Shim. Enjoy the free sub. That is too darn kind. There went safe. <laughs> there he went. See, that's a hard last boss, isn't it? Ghosts and Goblins games have easy last bosses in every single one of them. They're not hard. Oh, look, the princess was dead, but now she's alive. This is, her name's Prin Prin, for you guys wondering, by the way. And we're done. Great. Now we have to play freaking Darkwing Duck. That's going to be good. <laughs> I was hoping that wouldn't take longer. Thank you for the GGs, guys. I appreciate it very much. Very, very kind. And again, thank you so much, Studio Scott, for that kindly gift sub. Appreciate these GG's guys and Zaylin, Meows, Caleb, Nate, Studio Scott, Ally, Sif Cube, Classics, Equestria, Box of Crackers, Dragon Super, S Cyber Shinobi, Spade, Coffee. Thank you for all the wonderful GG's. That is another challenge in the books. That's what I was wondering, Sean. How did Grunt survive without internet? That's the hardest challenge of all. You want to do a challenge run? Go without internet for five days. See if you survive. <laughs> Johnson, thank you for the GGs. Thank you, Quirky. Two-Tone, you don't have to do a gift sub. You don't have to do that, buddy, but I appreciate it very much. Gift sub to KDiz. Appreciate it. That's too kind. Hope you're having a nice day, Two-Tone. I hope I didn't freak your cat out with some of my uh, trolling, or not trolling, yelling earlier. Blues Boy, thanks for the GGs. Appreciate it, dude. Go 10, 500, oh no, no hype train for goodness sakes. For goodness sakes, we did a hype train yesterday. Don't do one today, guys. That's enough. That's enough, please. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> no! No freaking hype trains. GGs are more than enough. They're more than enough. Go 10, thank you for the 500 bits, though. I always so appreciative. Coffee with a hundred bits. What have we unleashed now? The plane won't turn, and thank God it won't, because I'm never playing Pilot Wings again on Super Nintendo. Screw that game to hell. <laughs> Perfect. Spade, Spade. You don't have to do it, man, but thank you for the hundred bits as well, dude. Thank you so very much. You guys are just too darn kind. Celestial, thanks for the GGs. Grunt, thank you for the GGs. No, we knocked out another challenge here. The cat's fine, thank goodness. <laughs> I was legit concerned about that two-tone because I know cats don't react too well with like some types of noises. I, I don't want to be responsible for making your cat miserable. Frisky, thank you. Way to rock it like always. We got a little bit lucky with some of those levels, I'm not going to lie. It worked. It worked out. Oh, that's Lucifer. No, that's actually Satan. That's Satan. I just didn't want to call him that. Princess Prin Prin. There's her measurements. We can't forget that. 
That's Chun Li's measurements as well. Maybe they're the same person. Time for trash. Oh boy. Oh freaking boy. And Frisky, thank you again for the 200 bits. That's too kind. That is too kind. Who wants to do this challenge next? This was pretty rough. <laughs> 